Hello, my name is Glenn Dyer, and you are watching a dire situation. Today, I'm seeing life. Life. That's a that's a pretty generic title, isn't it? This just life. It could mean any number of things, guys. Just, just life. Okay, and uh, from what I can see, the plot is essentially alien, but you know, um, but it it's set in like the semi-future instead of the the bigger future and Ryan Reynolds is in it and it involves Mars and and stuff like a Mars exploration team not just like some junker company and whatever actually now they think about it alien is also a pretty generic title isn't it wait a second is this a reboot of alien god damn it that's three reboots in one week come on guys <laughs> okay, at least this one could could just be classified as a ripoff, though, because it's containing no actual alien uh, franchise. But still, similar thing. They go to a planet, they bring something in with them, and it turns out to be a deadly predator. My God! And then they uh, and, and then bad things happen, and presumably people die, and it's not fun. And uh, there's a there's a plot of you can't let the alien get back to Earth, otherwise it'll it'll kill everyone. So yeah, that's 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 the plot. That's the plot. Um, should be fun. Okay, yeah, I I I un I overestimated this movie. Okay, so uh, yeah, um, remember how I mentioned this is kind of a ripoff of Alien? Yeah, <laughs> I feel upset for bringing Alien into this, but honestly, it it borrows a lot from that movie. Like all it needed was a subplot where some astronaut really wanted to. Um, <laughs> Where some astronaut really wanted to get the 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 Martian because it's a new evolved species or something like that, and like it's it, it for like money or something like that would be the only thing separating this movie from Alien. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was stupid <laughs> to say it lightly. This was a very dumb action movie, but. Highly entertaining. And what do I mean by dumb? <laughs> well, th this takes place on board the International Space Station, right? It's astronauts, people uh, uh, with highly specialized technical knowledge. <laughs> Scientists, you could say. And this is the movie where, <laughs> where like, they have this new life form, they don't know how it works, but uh, an accident makes it hibernate for, like, a day, so they do the most logical thing and go at it with a pair of shock shockers, <laughs> like they go and taste the damn thing to see if it'll move. <laughs> and then when it gets out, they send Ryan Reynolds in there with a flamethrower. <laughs> I'm not joking. This happens. They have like there's like a flamethrower on the wall of the lab. For him to burn it. <laughs> oh my god, that is so stupid, yet it is so fun. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but, uh. Oh, I, I mean, I know there is like movies I like that are stupid like that, like The Thing. It also has a thing with the flamethrower, like. Why are these people in an Antarctic research station? Why do they have flamethrowers on hand? <laughs> I don't know, as a kid I kind of imagined... Yes, I did watch that movie as a kid. As a kid I kind of imagined that uh, like, uh, it was so they can thaw stuff out if it was coated in snow or something. On the ISS though, I don't even... <laughs> I can't even make an excuse like that. Uh -huh. Oh, and also uh, the thing has the some of the greatest practical effects gore effects of all time that also helps with its enjoyability also it is fucking scary as hell 
Uh, this movie also has, like, gore effects and stuff. Like, this guy's hand gets really fucked up by this thing, and it looks so cool, but it's all CG. It's all, like, fakey-fake, and it's, it, it doesn't work. Doesn't work as well as the, as the thing, when put in comparison, but in terms of just, like, popcorn gore stuff, like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, a lot of stupidity in this movie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I think I might give, like, a miniature spoiler thing at the end, just to talk about some of the really stupid things that happen in this, but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, but but just in general, it's 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 entertaining. It's really entertaining to watch. Do not go in there thinking that this is some sort of like um, scientific based horror film, like Gravity or the like. I, I, although Gravity, I think involved a ghost or something, so maybe not that. But you know, um, The Martian. Don't go in there expecting The Martian. Go go in there expecting. Uh, People find a monster and it starts killing everyone. <laughs> um, and, like, <laughs> so yeah, if that at all interests you, I highly recommend you check it out. Um, I don't think it's necessary for the theaters, though. Uh, it, it was fun, but I think it would be a lot more fun to get it on DVD or something so you can watch it with your friends and just, like laugh your ass off at it, because it is so fun, and so stupid, <laughs> and I love it. So anyway, I'm um, getting to the minor spoiler things. Uh, one of the ones that really stuck out to me, this fucking bastard, uh, the guy who was, like, in charge of looking after the the monster, right? Um, he, he, he's, he's like this, uh, this guy, I think he's like a paraplegic, like he's lost his legs, don't know how he got onto the ISS. I think you have to be in like a certain physical condition for that, but whatever. Uh, um, presumably, he has no feeling in his legs. At least I hope so, because otherwise it'll be even worse. But um, yeah, he's the thing tending to it. He's the guy who gets his hand all fucked up and stuff. And it is in the attempt to rescue him that the creature gets loose in the first place, like gets loose from the room. Um, and he is essentially the reason why everyone died. He, like, trying to save his life is the reason why everyone died. And... God, this fucking asshole. Midway through the movie, they have sealed off all the entrances and stuff. They're holed up in this one room, and they're thinking of a plan. And he's just sitting there, like, with his hand on his leg. And he's just, like, saying something like, It's only trying to feed and stuff, and... Like, it's part of its nature, it has to kill us, or something like that. And then we reveal this fucking asshole. And then he dies! Like, he just starts dying, and they can't figure out why, and then they realize he has the, he has the monster on his leg, and is draining his blood. So in other words, the bastard was letting it feed off of him, because of some notion that it's just trying to survive. Well, you know what? You're fucking friends and colleagues are also trying to survive and you are getting them killed you fucking monster one of them died saving your life and you are <clears throat> pisses me off and I like as I said it's kind of hinted his, his legs are numb so maybe he wouldn't feel it feel that thing like fucking devouring his leg but I would argue he had his hand right on it. He knew. He f fucking knew. So dumb. <laughs> See what I mean? Um, there's also another really dumb thing. Like, um, like the basically, in order to, to contain them, uh, the uh, ground control sends up a ship and starts pushing the, the ISS into deep orbit in order to... Um, in order to keep the monster in there, right? Okay, that makes sense. And then, like, um, because uh, in a crazed panic to kind of, because he wants to see his daughter, one of the ISS crew members, uh, he doesn't have connection to the radio, so he doesn't know what's going on, but he thinks it's a rescue mission, so he goes over to the seal, he lets out the monster, they had trapped the monster and were suffocating it, but he lets it out, 
and and then he goes to the, to the ship where the monster starts eating him and starts eating the people inside the ship that was pushing them. Now let me ask you this. If the plan is to send something up to push them into deep orbit, why were there people on there? Who the, how fucking stupid is this movie? They didn't send an unmanned drone to push them out. They sent a ship full of people. Why? So they could have fun on the ride? So they can push it out and then just, like, go back? What the fuck kind of logic is that? It's so stupid, but it actually happens, and it's, it's hilarious. <laughs> That's the only word. It is, that is, oh, God. So, yeah, those are those two things that I felt like mentioning. There's a, there's a few others, particularly the ending, which, oh, my God, it had, it had me just, like, uh, I love, I love the ending of the movie. <laughs> um... And yeah, I I, st I I I recommend it as like just a popcorn flick and stuff. It, it's 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 entertaining. It's entertaining. Just don't take it too seriously. So until next time, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you have been watching a Dyer's Fit situation.